Hi, and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning videos. Linear motion. Linear motion is the motion that is natural to an object. Definitions, equations, and units of vector and scalars. There are several measures used in linear motion, and you should be able to define and explain how you calculate the mass, weight, distance, speed, acceleration, displacement, velocity, and momentum. These can all be split into two groups scalar quantity and vector quantity. Scalar quantity, when measurements are only described in terms of their size of magnitude, mass, distance and speed. Vector quality, when measurements are only described in terms of magnitude and direction, for example, weight, acceleration, displacement, velocity and momentum. Further breakdown. To try and help it further, speed is a scalar quantity because it is a measurement of size. So for example, Usain Bolt won the 100 meter record with a speed of 1049 meters per second. Velocity is a vector quantity as it measures size and direction, e.g. the velocity of a penalty kick in football where the ball hits the top left corner at a velocity of 31 meters per second. Display in vectors. Vectors are usually represented by arrows. The length of the arrow shows the magnitude if drawn to scale, and the longer the arrow, the bigger the size. Direction is shown by the line of application, a point of application, and the arrow head, shown below. Key terms. Mass. The quantity of a matter the body possesses. Weight. The gravitational force exerted on an object. Mass versus weight. Mass is a physical quantity expressing the amount of matter or substance in the body. Our mass is made up of bone, muscle, fat, tissue and fluid and is measured in kilograms. A sumo wrestler, for example, has a much greater mass than a gymnast. Mass is a scalar quantity because it does not have direction, just size. Weight is the force of a given mass due to gravity. It is not measured in kg, but in newtons, as it is a unit of force. To calculate weight, use the following equation. Mass times gravity equals weight. For example, if a footballer has a mass of 60 kilos, their weight is 60 times 9.8, and that creates 588 newtons as the strength of gravity is the same everywhere on the surface of Earth. The gravitational force exerted on an object is directly proportional to its mass. Therefore, weight is a vector quantity because it has both size and direction as it acts downwards from the center of mass. Distance versus displacement. Distance and displacement are quantities. They are used to describe the extent of a body's motion. These measurements tell us how far a body has traveled. Distance is the length of the path the body follows when they're moving from one position to another. For example, a 200 meter runner who has just completed a race has run a distance of 200 meters. This is a scalar quantity because it measures size. For example, it goes from the start to the finish across those 200 meters. Displacement is the length of a straight line joining the start to the finish point. For example, in a 200 meter race on a track, the length of the path the athlete follows is 200 meters but their displacement will be a straight line measurement from the start to the finish, as shown here. Distance versus displacement continued. Displacement is a vector quantity because it's described as the direction as well as the size. Figure four and five below show a javelin thrower and a basketball free throw to show the difference between distance and displacement. As you can see, the javelin travels along a massive distance However, the displacement is much shorter than the distance itself because it's a straight line from the start to the end. Key terms. Distance. Measured in meters and is the path a body makes as it moves from the starting to the finishing point. Displacement. Measured in meters, it is the shortest route in a straight line between the starting and the finishing position. Speed versus velocity. Speed and velocity are measurements of how fast a body moves. Speed is the rate of change of a distance. It is a scalar quantity since it does not consider direction and can be calculated as the following. 
speed equals distance covered divided by time taken. Velocity refers to how fast the body travels in a certain direction. It is a rate of change of displacement. Velocity is more precise description of motion as it explains how fast a body is moving and in what direction. Velocity is a vector quantity and it can be calculated as the following. Velocity equals displacement divided by time taken. Pause the video and try it out. Using the calculations from the previous slide, work out the average speed and the average velocity of the swimmer, the cycle and the run as part of this triathlon. Key terms. Speed. A measurement in meters or seconds of a body movement per unit of time with no reference to direction. Velocity. Measured in meters and is rate of change of displacement. Graphs of motion. Graphs of motion are often used in running activities such as sprinting and can help an athlete analyze their performance at different parts in a race. Below are four examples of this. In this first example, the graph does not go up and down so there is no distance traveled. This means the performer must be stationary and it could be a netballer taking a shot or a goalkeeper in football before a penalty. If we look at this one here, the graph goes up in a straight consistent diagonal direction. This indicates that the distance run is changing at a constant rate and at the same speed. This could occur in the middle of a long distance race. If we look at this one here, the line is curved and gradually gets steeper. This indicates that more distance is being covered in a certain amount of time, so the performer must be accelerating, for example, the first 20 meters of a 100 meter race. And finally, if we look at this graph here, the curve starts to level off and less distance is traveled in a certain amount of time. This means that the deceleration is occurring, which would happen once the performer has crossed the finish line. The gradient of a graph. When looking at the gradient of a graph, all this is required you need to do is simply look at the slope of the graph. This is determined by the change in the y-axis and the change in the x-axis. For example, if we look here, no gradient, so no movement. Gradient is constant, so speed is constant. Gradient is decreasing, so speed is increasing, and the gradient is decreasing, so the speed is decreasing. Velocity time graphs and speed time graphs. These are essentially the same type of graph. The shape of the velocity graph will represent the same pattern of motion as the shape of the speed time graph. These graphs indicate the velocity or speed of a performer or an object per unit of time. The gradient of the graph will help you decide whether the performer is traveling at a constant velocity, acceleration, or deceleration. As you can see here, in this graph, the gradient remains constant, which indicates the performer is traveling at a constant velocity. Whereas if we see here, the gradient is much steeper. This in indicates that the performer is moving increased velocity or accelerating. For example, the gradient of the graph equals the change in velocity divided by the time. Acceleration. Acceleration is a rate of change of velocity. When velocity increases, positive acceleration occurs, and when velocity decreases, negative acceleration occurs. Acceleration is measured in meters per second and is the vector quality. Acceleration can be calculated as the following. Change in velocity divided by time. And to calculate the change in velocity, the following equation is used. Final velocity, take away the initial velocity divided by the time taken. Key terms. Acceleration. Measured in meters per second squared and is the rate of change of velocity. Momentum. Momentum is measured in kilograms per meter per second and is mass times velocity. Momentum. Momentum is the product of the mass and the velocity of an object. It can be calculated as the following. Momentum equals mass times velocity. Since momentum is calculated using velocity, it has a magnitude and a direction and is therefore a vector quantity. Momentum is dependent upon the mass and the velocity. If one of these increases, then momentum increases. Momentum in practice. If we see here, our 100 meter sprinter is 80 kilos and his velocity is 11.9 meters per second. If we use this formula, this then gives us 952 kilograms per meter per second, or works out his momentum. From this table, it can be seen that a large mass coupled with the ability to run high velocity 
results in a greater momentum. If you had to stop any of the above performers, the prop would be the most difficult as his momentum is the greatest. Momentum can also be conserved. This occurs when a performer or an object is in flight, neither the mass nor the velocity can be altered. For example, when you're throwing a ball, a fast arm action will allow the ball to travel at a greater velocity. But once in the air, the velocity cannot be changed unless under external forces act upon it. For example, gravity.